Welcome to my room. Now let's get started. We're going to start with my closet. Now, my closet has two sides. It has the mirror side, which is my more casual clothes, and the dark side, which is my dress clothes and other miscellaneous items. Let's take a look at what's inside. When you open it up, we have... Clothes. Shocker. These are just my jackets and shirts and other things. On the top here is where I put my keys, other things that I don't really use a lot. Um, my hats, my chapsticks, my change, my watches, and of course, my fan mail. I uh, read these before I make a video. I'll be making a fan mail video very soon. But let's take it down lower. If we go lower, we can see my shirts and my pants and my shoes. Up top, this top drawer is nothing but horror shirts. I have all my horror shirts from classic monsters to Halloween to Hellraiser to The Purge to everything in between. As you all know, I love horror movies. So, second row is any shirt that doesn't have to do with horror. So I have my Disney shirts my The Office shirts, you know, my Gardens of the Galaxy, Manscaped, everything Bullet Club, all the shirts in that second drawer. If you go to my third drawer, we have my pants. Uh, I normally wear black pants, but I have like blue, tan, I even have a bright white and red pants uh, that I use in my role plays. I think you saw me wearing the white pants in my Santa Claus role play. we go down here, we can see a dog. I usually keep Happy uh, in this drawer. Stuff him all the way in the back because he makes too much noise in my videos. Isn't that right? And he likes to hit the microphone. That was a joke. Uh, on the bottom row, see if I can hold the dog in the mic, I have my shoes. So I recently got these new Nikes. I don't think you could see them. <laughs> Uh, so those would normally go right here, uh, but I have my slippers, my Converse, my Adidas, whatever. I'm not much of a shoe guy, but I'm trying to get into it. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the dark side and continue the closet tour. Now that we're on the dark side, let's check it out. This is where I keep things that I don't wear a lot or my dress clothes. So on the top, I have my suits, my dress shirts and everything like that. Um, more towards the right, I have the things I don't usually wear and props for my videos. Um, I have my Freddy Krueger jacket. Stay tuned for that one. And I just have some things I don't really wear. On the top here, I put things that I don't really use, but I'm going to use eventually. Here, my uncle got me a microphone. so. I might be testing that one out. My brother got me this really cool creature from the Black Lagoon figure that I'm going to be displaying, and I'll show you guys my display pretty soon. And just a bunch of different props and stuff back there. So if you go down to my drawers, we have four rows, one, two, three, and four. The top row is going to be my pajamas, my underwear, my socks, um, my you know, shirts and undershirts that I have. My second drawer is going to be like my workout pants. I actually have my Nike ones on right now. Um, my basketball shorts and just some shirts that I don't really wear that much. Uh, the third row is my props. So anything I'm planning to use in a video, I put in here. So I have my purge shirt. I have a Dracula costume. I have a gas mask. Um, I have this thing which is fun. Hey ladies. I have these really cool uh, 
FX transfers. So these are used to be put on my face, um, you know, and make it look like I have cuts on me, just like things for my horror role plays. Um, I have these little party crackers that have a bunch of magic tricks in it. So I was thinking of doing a, you know, like crack these open and perform magic tricks like a magician ASMR. And I have Jeremy's Jolly Games glasses right here. I know a lot of people <laughs> like that role play. So Jeremy will be returning. I have his glasses. Um, I also have Officer Gutierrez uh, glasses here. So I get in character whenever I put them on. No, I don't play no games. Okay? That's why my name is No Games Gutierrez. So I have those. Um, I also have the Tingle Dealer's glasses in there. I have a stethoscope for a doctor roleplay. And of course I have a bunch of fake mustaches in there. So, um, it's cool. I plan to keep using my props. In the bottom row is just things I don't really wear. Or, you know, things I just shove down here. I have my Michael Myers coveralls. I have my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, onesie. I have most of my belts, my slacks, and my trunks down here for when I go swimming. I don't really swim a lot, but yeah. So, that's pretty much my closet. Let's move on. Hey, how you doing? Here, we have the top of my entertainment system. I like to display a couple things here, so let me pick each one and show you what they mean. This first one is just the skeleton that my mom got at a Halloween store. Uh, he has a button on the back that if you press it, he starts talking. I thought it looked cool, so I put it on top of my candle. Uh, the second item I have here, there we go, is a film clacker thing. Uh, I used it in my Rude Director video, and uh, I just like the way it looks because you guys know I like movies. On the back holding it up, I have a speaker, just whenever people come over so I can put on music. Um, also a Best Brother Award that my brother gave me, so I love you Chris if you're watching this. Uh, this actually means a lot to me, so whenever I look at it, I think of how awesome my brother is, and yeah, I, I used, it's my favorite thing. Moving on is uh, one of my favorite things actually on here as well. I think all of these things are my favorite. I say that about almost everything I have. This is my Dunder Mifflin paper, uh, ream of paper. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's actually san signed by Leslie Baker, which is the actor who played Stanley Hudson in The Office. I met him. I'll try and put a picture up here. Uh, I met him at LA Comic Con, and it was lots of fun, and they were selling these, and I had to get one, and he signed it. So, that was awesome. Um, here I also have a Xenobite cube from Hellraiser. It's just something I like to display. And my brother's girlfriend actually got me this. It's a world's best boss mug. Dunder Mifflin from The Office. If you guys don't know, my two biggest things I love in life is uh, The Office and anything horror movies. So, thank you to my brother's girlfriend for getting me this. Also, we have this moon, which I'm planning to make a video on. A company sent me this. I don't think you can see on camera. Yeah, it turns on and it looks really cool. It's like a 3D printed moon. So, I'm going to make a video on that. Let me move you guys on over here. Uh, moving on down the row here, we have definitely um, the most meaningful thing I have in my room, and that's a picture of my grandparents. Um, I know, guys, if you were here all the way from the beginning of uh, of my YouTube career, I uh, my grandma was in the hospital, and we went through a lot of issues with her, but thank God she's here. She's still healthy, so... I have them right in the middle, so whenever I'm watching a movie, playing games, editing, I always have them there to look at. It's my grandpa kissing my grandma. So, I love them very much. Uh, next to that is The Bringer of Nightmares. Um, 
my Freddy Krueger replica glove. This is the glove from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Um, I love it. It's made of genuine leather. Um, I'm most likely going to use it in my Freddy Krueger roleplay. But it's just another horror collectible that I like to display. Next up we have another collectible. It is a creature from the Black Lagoon, a piggy bank. But I don't really use it as a piggy bank. I just uh, have him displayed there because I think he looks really nice. So, another little horror collectible you'll be seeing a lot in my room right now. Um, next up we just have a little pumpkin. A little styrofoam pumpkin. Got a rep Halloween. So you know how it is on a, on a candle there. And then four of my favorite classic monsters here in sorry for the loud noise in VHS tapes so we have on the top here a Frankenstein authentic VHS tape after that we have Creature from the Black Lagoon in VHS and the Wolfman and then last but not least this is definitely the most damaged one it's a Dracula VHS tape, but I do like them a lot. I think they're really nice, and uh, I just, uh, I like them. I like all the retro classic monsters. And here we have my entertainment system, which consists of three bigger boxes where I display my collectibles, and three smaller top boxes that has my Xbox, my controllers, my camera equipment, DirecTV, and things I need. So. I'll give you guys some close-ups of the collectors inside these boxes, and uh, I'll show you guys what's inside the top ones. But after that, let's move on. Here we have definitely one of my favorite sections of my room, which is my mask collection. As you can see on the top here, I have my Halloween original Michael Myers replica mask. Uh, next to that is the Halloween 2018 mask. We have the pumpkin mask from Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Leatherface, and if we bring it down, we have my purge box. So this has three of my purge masks uh, on the top. We have my pride and joy, which is my purge election year Lady Liberty mask that I made myself. It's not one of those little cheap ones that you can buy online like this one or that one. I hate them. They're ugly and they're dumb. I made it myself. It took me all day and I'm proud of it. Right below we have my purge anarchy god mask and then we have my original purge smiling man mask. Um, sorry if you can hear happy outside banging on the door, but yeah, this is my little purge section. If you open it up, you can actually see. Uh, there's labels on them. I also have my Assassination Nation mask back there, along with a purge candle and a couple purge buttons. If you guys know, I love the purge. So, if we bring it down down to the final one, What's up, guys? I'm the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Also, we have the three masks down here from the Strangers, Man in the Mask, uh, Pin Up, and Dollface. Um, that's one of my favorite horror movies of all time, but they are next to my favorite horror movie of all time, which is the Ghostface Mask from Scream. So, uh, yeah, I display that there as well. But let's move on to my posters and my bed. Hey, welcome to my bed corner, where I have my posters, my bed, and my movie collection. Let's start with my posters. Up top, I have my Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster. Right next to that one is my favorite, which is my Halloween poster. Uh, on the close-up, you'll see that 
it is signed by the majority, I'd say maybe 90%, everybody in the original Halloween, except for Jamie Lee Curtis, got them all. And next to that is going to be the Friday the 13th poster. Um, on the bottom here, I have another original artwork. Um, I forgot who the artist was, but I thought it was a really cool Nightmare on Elm Street poster that I got. Next to that, we have Freddy, which is done by my friend Chris Nielsen, a.k.a. Pen Tool Artist on Instagram. If you like that artwork, along with this Jason, he made them both. Uh, go check him out. He's a great guy. He's awesome. He's on Instagram. So I have those two posters as well. Right over here, I have my bigger posters, which I like just as much. This is my Saw 10th anniversary poster. It's the first ever big poster I've ever had in my room, and my brother got it for me. So I love it. I think it's awesome. And then going on to my I Purge poster, which uh, is from the Purge election year, and I really like it. It's cool. I have that sticker on my car, so anybody that drives behind me can see that I've purged. So back off. Moving on over here to my movie collection. Starting up top on the movie collection bookshelf is a Freddy Krueger lunchbox, a pumpkin trick-or-treat bucket with little horns on top, and two Jason figures. One is from the Jason remake, and the other is from Friday the 13th, part two, when Jason has his little sack head on. Right below that, we have my pops, which I like very much. I'm not much of a pop person. I don't really like Funko Pops that much, but every single one of these my brother bought for me. They're mostly horror movie pops, and uh, the only one that's really worth anything uh, a lot, I think, is my signed uh, Sid Haig Captain Spaulding pop. That one is signed, so it means something to me. It's awesome. And, uh, of course, below that are all my movies. So, let's take a look. Now, I'm not sure if it looks like a lot on camera, but there is a good amount of movies here. Um, I have things ranging from collections to collectibles to signed movies. Um, you can also see most of my movies in my movie collection videos. I'll try and put a tag up here, but if I can't, then uh, go ahead and check my channel and just search my horror movie collection and my movie collection. I'll be doing an updated one for 2019 very soon. But on the bottom row, I have a little horror haul box where I have some more collectibles. But let's move on to my favorite part of my room. My collectible figures. This is my desk area. Right below here I'll show you guys I have my desk with my computer, my corkboard with all my pins and all of my little horror movie posters and photos, my calendar, a Star Wars poster, but most importantly my collectible figures. Um, I recently got some new ones, so you guys can see some of these in my movie store role plays or some of my old role plays where I had this background, but I'm thinking about making this background, uh, the much, like, a big background in most of my videos, but let's get into each shelf and what they have. On the first shelf here, we have my Friday 13th NES Jason replica mask that my friend Darian got me. I love it very much, and it fits perfectly with my Friday 13th Jason NES figure. It's a NECA figure, and I think it's super awesome. It comes with a lot of cool features, including a floating Mrs. Voorhees head, which I like very much. Right next to that is my Friday 13th The Final Chapter NECA figure. Uh, I got that one myself, and it comes with a Pamela Voorhees um, tombstone, which is really cool. Next to that is actually a Friday 13th Part 3 Jason Replica Mask, which is a super awesome mask, and I'm glad I got it. It's uh, super high quality and super awesome. The shelf above that is my Freddy Krueger, Chucky, and Leatherface shelf. The first one is a Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 Ultimate NECA figure. It comes with the two possessed dogs in the movie, along with Freddy and his flames behind him. He comes with a bunch of different props, but the way I have him is my favorite way he uh, can pose. Next to him, I have a Chucky good guy doll. I put on Chucky's favorite face. Um, he also has his knife, and he just looks awesome. 
He also has a little good guy box that you can put him in, which is really cool. Right next to him is Leatherface. Leatherface is super awesome. He comes with a chainsaw, a bunch of different heads, but the way he came is my favorite, so I just kept him like that with his box displayed in the back. Very cool. And next to him, we have Invisible Man, which is my favorite classic monster of all time. I really want to do an Invisible Man roleplay, but this figure is actually a classic Universal Monsters figure, which is worth a good amount of money, I think. But I got him. I love it. He comes with an invisible head and three books. And, of course, his super awesome stand. Right next to him is a 112 Michael Myers Halloween figure, which I got for $100 at a Halloween convention. He is super awesome. He comes with a stand, a knife, a glow-in-the-dark, or I'm sorry, a light-up pumpkin, and a Judith Myers tombstone. He looks awesome, and he just is one of my favorite horror icons, so he came out really cool. Next to him, we have an Alex DeLarge Clockwork Orange figure, which looks incredible. My brother recently got me him for Christmas. I have him posed with his milk glass and his cane, but he just looks awesome. He comes with a lot of different things, and uh, I think he looks perfect. Right below them is my Pennywise, Evil Dead, and Ghostface shelf. Starting off with Pennywise, I have a little classic Pennywise figure that a fan brought me at a meet and greet. Thank you so much to that fan. And a NECA Ultimate Pennywise figure holding Georgie's boat and a balloon. Now obviously that Pennywise is from the remake. However, next to them, we have an Evil Dead 2 set, which is one of my favorite sets because it just comes with so many things. It came with both Ash and a Deadite. Uh, totally forgot the name of the guy in Evil Dead 2 there, but he was a really cool looking Deadite. It also has a little, I, I guess it's a deer. Yeah, it's a deer that they have mounted on the wall that became possessed and started laughing. So I display that up there along with the Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon, and the other little evil spear, or whatever that is, I totally forgot, but I posed them to look like Ash is attacking him. They both look amazing. And last but not least is my Movie Maniac's ghost face figure. Uh, unfortunately, this one recently fell and the knife broke, but a little super glue can fix that. This ghost face looks awesome. He's carrying a cell phone along with his knife, and just the way his uh, costume flows in the wind and the way he looks frozen like that just looks really cool. And of course, with every Movie Maniac figure, they have a little stand where you can display the Movie Maniac uh, poster of whoever you got in the background. So that looks really cool. And that's about it for my shelves of my collectible figures. And here is my desk. This is my computer where I edit my videos, I reply to comments, I upload, I go live. It's just a really good computer. It's an Alienware 17 inch R or something like that, um, but it's a great laptop. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be getting myself a PC though. I'm building one with my friends and I'll be making a video setup. I'm going to have a brand new desk, a whole new setup in my room that uh, hopefully you guys will like. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch more. I'm going to stream on YouTube. It's it's going to be awesome, guys. I really hope you guys uh, come and watch. Go check me out on Twitch here. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I might even start a gaming channel. So a lot of big things to come in 2019, guys. But this one is most likely going to be sold. If you guys are interested in buying my laptop, let me know. Obviously, everything's going to be deleted. But message me on social media, and I'll see if we can work out a deal. So that's my laptop here. Above that, I have a cork board where I shoved with a bunch of horror movie patches, uh, posters. I have pictures of me and my girlfriend, Hot Topic, super awesome message they sent me, just a bunch of different things that I have on there. On the right one, though, I have my pin collection, uh, just a bunch of Disney and horror pins that I like to collect, and uh, some more photos. But other than the cork board, over here we have my Oculus headset, which I love very much. Oculus is incredible. I wish more people had VR. It's just such an under, like an underrated thing. 
I know a lot of people have VR, but I just feel like, you know, it's, it's insane. It's amazing. I recommend getting a VR headset. If you do, add me on Oculus or whatever you do. It's X, Ryan Gutierrez X. Check it out. But uh, that's pretty much it for my desk setup here. I obviously have my hard drive, and I'm not sure if you can continue to see, but uh, there's my Return of the Jedi poster, and I have a calendar where I mark down all my uploads and pretty much uh, everything I need to keep up to date with. So let's continue to look in my room. This is my couch. I originally got it so I wouldn't have to have a bed in my room and I could have more room for a desk, a studio area, but I um, ended up having to get a bed because my mom was like, you can't sleep on a couch. It does pull out into a bed, but now I use it for storage to keep all of my other equipment, my microphones, my headsets, my camera equipment, most of the things that I don't really use that much because of the new setup I have now. But uh, it's really cool. Pretty soon I'm going to be getting rid of this as well uh, to fit my desk here along the side of my window. So it's going to be all brand new, guys, and it's going to be great. But this couch is really where I'm able to watch my movies and uh, just relax while I'm playing games. Even though you guys know I play Fortnite standing up. Because I'm pro like that. But it's a comfortable couch. These are my two pillows that my mom got me. It's from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, we have Oogie Boogie and Jack Skellington. So, yeah, I don't know where she got them. A lot of people ask me where she got them. I have no idea. But I love you guys, and let's continue to move on. Also, I have my Oculus sensors to pick me up whenever I'm in the middle of my room going crazy in VR. So let's move on over to the other section. Right above my couch, I have probably my favorite posters in my entire room, is my classic monster posters. Yes, I don't have Dracula or the Mummy, but I have my favorites, Phantom of the Opera, The Invisible Man, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and The Wolfman. So I have them all displayed above my couch there, which I love very much and I think is super cool. So moving on. Here is the section right next to my couch. Uh, I also have my backyard door over here, so this is where I usually come in and out of my room. Here I have a Stranger's Prey at Night poster, a movie that I really liked. Not a lot of people liked it, but I thought it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. I have a Haunted Mansion poster here signed by the guy who created the Doom Buggy. He was a Disney Imagineer, and I thought that was super awesome. His name was Bob. I don't know his last name, but he was really cool, and he designed uh, a part of the ride that is very important. So, as a Disney freak, I thought it was awesome. Right next to that, I have another Halloween poster done by my friend Chris. You guys saw some of his artwork over there by my bed, but I have that hung up right next there, next to the Haunted Mansion. I love his artwork, and I think it's awesome. Moving up, if we look up, I have my Disney shelf. This is where I have my... Thanos arm, uh, well, glove, where uh, he holds all the Infinity Stones, which I think is really cool. That's the Hasbro Legendary Edition little replica thing. Uh, I have a Stormtrooper helmet here. You guys can recognize from my Stormtrooper interview role plays, um, and, which is the first role play I ever made, by the way. And uh, a little alien from Toy Story. Toy Story is one of my favorite uh, Disney movies, if not th the favorite Disney movie. Um, and I named him Zippy. He's my son. Don't we look alike? Up top, actually, here we have a Joker poster that my cousin Richard got me for my birthday, which I think is really cool, and I love him very much for that, so thank you, Richard. It has all the Jokers uh, up until Jared Leto, so those are really cool. 
uh, if I just move you guys without making too much noise, right next to my closet there by my door, I have two more posters. One of them is a Psycho original poster, and you can't really see because the light, but there is an Exorcist poster. So if they're small posters, I just head over there, which is really cool. But uh, to give you guys another idea of the posters, I have another saw one and a Texas chainsaw one there next to my TV. So, so here we are at the end. I want to thank everyone for watching and visiting my room today. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys stay tuned for more content in 2019. I'm going to be getting a brand new desk set up pretty soon, so I'll be doing a video on that. But hopefully I edited this correctly so you guys can get some good narration along with some nice shots of the way everything looks. So I love you guys. You guys are incredible. You guys are the reason why I have all these things. I never make, I'm not making this video to flex on you guys or say, hey, look at me, I have a great room. It's because of you guys. If you guys didn't give me the support, the motivation, the love to keep going, to keep following my dream and creating my channel, I wouldn't be able to have all my posters, all my, you know, collectible figures. It, it means the world to me that you guys are giving me this opportunity. So I love you guys. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart uh, for allowing me to have all these things. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below uh, what you'd like to see more, by the way, in 2019. Role plays, give me a suggestion, give me any recommendation, and I'll do my best to make that video for you. So, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And please, don't forget to smile. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Yes.